Shanti, move, Prabhi. Like Tarni, sit there. Tarni, sit down, Baba. Oh, she's written in very nice handwriting. That is the first present. Tarni's handwriting is my permanent Mother's Day present. Because I know how well we started. We started with beautiful handwriting in kindergarten, slid off, and then we got back to handwriting when two English teachers said to me over the phone, Oh, Tarni writes very neatly. Well than most kids in the class, actually. And there was a Pin drop silence when the mother digested that information <laughs> with a big grin. Dear mom, happy Mother's Day. Love, Tony. <laughs> and the rest of it is broken. Yes. That was something we were going to. I got you this instead of telling me else. Simple breakfast because then we're going to go for a bike ride. Let's not spend all day in the morning walking the kitchen. Fill up for chocolate as many layers. Fill up for some sour mango. This coming. Going to what? Thank this you. is getting too long. Yeah. Oh, uh, and I want you to be in the video. Give me the video. Mommy, no, mother's day. Let me see. There's still titles for the new house. Rose set of uh, soap petals. Put it in the um, jacuzzi. It sends the water and gives like, like a bubble. Oh, can I just set it on my soap dishes? Yeah, and then when you want to use them, you can actually, they're actually soap. Rose soap petals are wonderful as individual guest soaps or as a special self-treat when sprinkled in your bath. To add a light fragrance. To add a light fragrance. I'm going to test my vision. Ingredients. Sodium lauryl sulfate. Mom, Mama, you have to go to my last present. This one's from all of us. Oh, I have more presents. The last from all this is too much. I already have the best present. Never miss a good tug opportunity. You see a bow and it's a good tug. <laughs> no. These are lessons learned that mothers need. Never miss a good tug opportunity. No. <coughs> Don't video this. <coughs> 